Well, happy Thanksgiving. And yes, it is Thursday, November 25th, 2021. This is my second crime for the week. Actually, uh, uh, an attempted crime, uh, robbery in my opinion, and here's what's happening. So last night, about 1045, somebody drove into the garage and our garage gate, when you push the button, it opens and it will close. However, if you accidentally or inadvertently push the button a second time before it is started to close, it will remain open until the next vehicle pulls in. So someone came home last night, pulled in, but the gate didn't shut. About 12 minutes later, this guy comes walking down the street, notices the gate open, and hustles on in. He walks around the corner to the other side of the garage and looks around to make sure or to see if anyone's in there. He pulls on one lobby door, and then he walks over and he just sort of hangs out in the corner, just waiting for someone to come home. Well, somebody does come home, a little red Mercedes. And uh, she happens to see the guy standing in there and sent me a text message, but I wasn't available. So she went ahead and pulled on in, but the guy just waited over in the corner by the lobby door, knowing that they would get out of the car and come towards the lobby door and he would probably snatch their shit and take off running and that'd be the end of it. But she didn't get out of her car. She did the right thing. She was suspicious and decided to pull out and pull away. So as she pulls back out, he sort of follows her on out. She stops outside because she's on the phone trying to get a hold of me. He probably figures she's calling somebody and then the garage gate closes anyway. And so he just walks away. She does a U-turn at the end of the block and comes back, re-enters the garage. The garage gate closes and then she hustles on into the building. So here we go upper left hand corner and I'm gonna fast forward here there he comes in lower left hand corner and then over here he goes on in and walks through and making sure nobody else is in the uh, in the garage there there he is right there he, he's being real suspicious I'm gonna fast forward here now, he doesn't pull on any car doors. He's just looking. Make sure no one's down there or to check to see if anybody's down there. He does pull on that lobby door, but no car doors. It was a windy night. Goes over to the gym door. And now he just decides to stay here. Now I'm going to fast forward again. Now this is at 11.07. The guy's down there and, uh, basically for about 12 minutes. Now here, uh, what he does, I'm not going to show it, but he walks out, goes to our lobby door, gives one tug on the lobby door, and then comes back into the garage, looks around a little bit. He's out there on the sidewalk and comes back into the garage. And here comes our girl. Now, down here in the lower left-hand corner, camera 21, he's standing right there. And if you look over here to the right, he's standing right there. Now, she sees him, and she's a little worried. She pulls on by. He's just sort of standing there. Now, the garage gate is closed. And he's still here in the corner. because she would come to that door and he would rob her. That's what I think. I mean, he's not waiting on a bus. I'm fast forward, so she's backing out. He follows her on out. Now she stops the garage gate closes, and he walks away. And then, of course, she does a U-turn. She comes back, checks to see if he's there, and then goes on about pulling in and hustling on in. So once again, it's not just a question of pushing and pulling on doors, but it is. But also being aware of your surroundings, your environment. If someone's standing there, you know, you just don't enter a garage. or You, you, you got to look around, especially now, it's, it's heavy crime right now. Follow home robberies, 
you know, anything like that. So once again, be careful, be aware, push and pull on doors, don't leave anything in your cars. If you see something, say something, all of those old things that everybody says. Other than that, happy holidays.